What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko. So today I actually forgot my vlogging kit. So if the camera's a little bit shaky, sorry, I'm just using my phone and my hand and I don't know. I mean, yeah, there, this, that's what's going on today. But we are at our locals today. Untouchables, you guys can probably see it over here, wherever my finger is pointing. Ah, you guys can see it. So Untouchables, we're at locals today. And today we're starting off the summer, as you guys saw in the last vlog, in my first vlog of the summer. We couldn't unfortunately play, but today we can play. And we have tri-branded builds. So we're dominating today's locals with the best deck of the format. Well, what I think is going to be the best deck of the format. I know Despy is very popular, don't get me wrong. But tri-branded is the way to go, trust me. At least for now, we'll see where it goes from here. But if you guys do enjoy these videos, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh! vlog content. As you guys know, every Thursday is a Locals vlog, and then every Friday is going to be feature matches. Speaking of feature matches, we have our little vlogging camera, or not vlogging camera, our feature match camera over here with the stand and stuff. So we're going to do some feature matches. Hopefully today, I can actually get myself on a feature match. So you guys can actually watch Spanko Duel at Locals live. Yeah. It's gonna be fun but so in today's videos we're gonna be focused on dominating our locals with the best deck of the format seeing how it goes i'm excited for it let's get it let's go we're gonna get into locals set things up and uh, i guess we'll start right up okay so i just stepped out because um we just finished our second round and uh yeah so let me give you guys a quick update so round one we ended up getting we were playing against brave pk it's a good match but uh try is just too crazy man when the combo goes off the combo goes off you're not losing that match so round one was super easy i got through that really easily just the combo was just too crazy yeah standby i'll pass priority anti-spell yeah you're good to go so think on summon sure revolt chain like one <laughs> Anything? Why are you actually buying this time? Uh, Double triangle, triangle roll, chain two. Oh! And then round two, actually. So I want to talk to you guys about round two. I might have some footage up about round one. So when, when we got into round two, it was a little bit harder. Game one, we like hard bricked. Um, game two, so funny enough, I side out the entire branded package for the uh, for the Despia branded like matchup because like it's just free fodder for them. So that's why I don't I like to side it out. So game two, I sat on Apollo plus D barrier, and then you just like scooped because. Um, turn two, I just summoned Keras, made access code, and we got game there. A lot of activation. Yep. Yeah. Uh, effect. Effect. Oh. Uh, I can't respond, right? Uh, no. Yeah. And then round, or game three, I should say, not round three. Game three was really close. It was a good back and forth for a while. But, you know, Brandon, he just got too much advantage on me. Uh, my hand was kind of okay. Don't get me wrong, it wasn't bad. But he ended up crowing my kit that was in the graveyard before it could activate. So I ended up losing a lot because of that. So he just had more advantage. So it was close, though. We are getting ready for round three. I think we can still finish X1 in top. So we're going to go for X1 today. Um, there's a couple cool guys here today that are just fun to hang around with. So I'm having fun being here, to be honest with you. I might have some footage of the duels in here. But if you guys want to see the full duels, I'll have probably one of my feature matches tomorrow. So you guys will catch me on the channel. Probably my round one, because my round one I won pretty fun. It was a good game. It was a good match. So we'll see how that goes. But yeah, thank you guys for watching so far. If you guys made it to this part of the video, uh, I, I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Locals is done. I ended up winning my last two rounds. So we're X1, which means we top, which is really nice because I ended up topping my first locals with Tri Branded. What did I say? Best deck in the format. I'm telling you, this deck's crazy. But okay, so I'm not going to be too happy. It's just a locals, don't get me wrong. But the fact that I dom like I did not lose a game other than the match I lost. In round one, I lost one game, and then that's it. So. This deck is crazy, it's super strong. So my matchups were essentially, round one was Brave PK, round two was Despia, round three was Evil Twin, and round four was Despia. The only one I lost to was Despia in round two. So it's been really good. It's been really good. The deck is very, very consistent. There's so many different combo lines with this deck, I, and I'm loving it, to be honest with you. Yo, I know this has nothing to do with the vlog, but I just wanted to show this off. I actually picked this up at the locals, the Red Dragon Archfiend Ghost Rare. I actually love this card so much. I've been wanting this card. You guys know that I wanted the Cyber Dragon and this. I ended up pulling the Cyber Dragon, ended up trading for this i love it it's absolutely beautiful the cyanide dragons are so i'm gonna have to get the rest in ghost rare it's gonna cost me a lot of money so yeah i'm liking the deck i think the deck is good i think you guys should try it out hey guys future spanko here i just want to do a quick deck profile of the deck that i did take to locals i want to show it off to you guys because i guess i didn't show it off in the video or in the vlog i should say so i'll do quick we're not going to go super in depth we're playing three cat three frack three nerve three kit, two chaos, and two revolt. That's it for the tri engine. I think that's all you need. So I really like this. Then we're playing one Mercurier, one Albion, one Albaz, two fusion, as well as one sword. This is our branded package. Our branded package is perfect. I do want to say
say this, you always side the branded package out versus the branded matchup. So if you're playing any branded Despia build, you always remove this package. You do not need it. If you're going first, you can keep one fusion in because then you'll have a cross out and you can cross out the branded fusion in. But otherwise, everything needs to go because you really don't want this. It actually makes you lose games if you actually make this board. So yeah, you definitely want to take this out. Then I have two cards here that I'm not going to show you guys. This is like a really spicy tech that I don't want to show off just yet. So I just want to show you guys that there's two more cards in the deck. It's 41 total and I'm not going to show it off to you guys. I know it's going to irk some of you. I, I got to keep this safe for now. This is a, this is something that I'm testing out. This is something that helped a lot during the locals, something actually low key insane. And I just want to keep it secret and private for now. Cause I think I'm going to be going to a YCS and regional with these. And if I end up topping, I'm going to show you guys these. Cause I think this card is insane in the deck and no one is on it. And it's very, very spicy tech. So to move on, we are playing triple Ash, double Crow, double Veiler, as well as double Imperm for a hand trap lineup. This is perfect. Actually funny enough, I was playing triple Crow and then triple Keras as well, but I decided to take out one Crow, one Keras for these two, the secret techs and the secret techs are uh, worked out beautifully for me. So I won't change these at all whatsoever, but yeah, I think this hand trap lineup was perfect. I only played double Veiler because sometimes if you open the one Veiler, you need the second one for branded fusion. So I like to play the second one. And sometimes you also want the second one in for cross out as well, which by the way, we are playing triple cross out one called by two tack one foolish as well as one tanky i think this deck is perfect literally 41 cards in the main deck it was perfect it never bricked for me once and it played super super well for the extra deck, we played two Shureg, one Rugal, two Fairjeet, one Ramper. It's very standard uh, extra deck, if you ask me. Like, I don't think there's anything that would change in here. One All Mirage, one Double Dragon, one Doomed Eagle, one Axis Code, one Apollo, then the Branded Package, one Verte, Albion, Brigand, as well as Mirror Jade. So this is the extra deck. I wouldn't change anything at all from this. I think it was perfect for me. Next, I'll quickly show you guys the side deck. Three Alpha, three Cyclone, one Harpies. This came in pretty often, actually. These came in all the time. Never got to see them. If you guys are siding out the branded package going second into branded, you always take out six cards. So the six cards you put in are these six. And the reason you put in these six is because you always want a Cyclone going second. Because if they set the red or something like that, it forces them to use the red and they don't get anything out of it. So Cyclone is really good. Same, same with this. This is more against back row matchups that are not branded. So I don't really side this in. But these six always go in against branded. Then going first, of course, you're playing the D barriers, the non-fusion areas and the anti-spells. These two single-handedly won me games, so 100% you gotta be playing this. This I didn't actually end up seeing. I sided it in a few times, but I never ended up actually seeing it. But the side deck was perfect, honestly. I wouldn't change anything here. I love it so much. All right, boys, we're gonna end the vlog off there. We went X1, we topped today. We got all the boys here, Jordan, Alpha, we got Richard, we got Han, we got David, and we got Tony for some reason leaving at this one moment that we needed Tony to be here. So Tony's here, and guess what we're doing? A case of ghosts from the past. Thank you, David. He's hooking this up. So watch it, it'll be on the channel soon. Thank you guys all for watching. Appreciate you. Make sure to like, subscribe. And with that, Spanko and the squad. <laughs> Signing out. <laughs> man. I feel like that.